Welcome to the GigaSmart training module for packet deduplication. In this module, you will explore the GigaSmart deduplication application. At the end of this module, you will be able to describe how duplicate packets happen and the issues in the network related to these packets. Identify the consequences caused by duplicate packets. Describe how the GigaSmart deduplication application alleviates the problem. Identify the use cases for the GigaSmart deduplication application. Often, technology can have unintended consequences. Collecting traffic from multiple points throughout the network is essential to effective monitoring and analysis. However, the characteristics of traffic flow between users and servers and between different server tiers may result in the creation of duplicated packet forwarding by span or mirror configurations. In this network example, the core physical links have taps installed, so traffic flowing across those links can be monitored and analyzed by the tools. Span ports have been configured on the access switches, so that access layer traffic may also be monitored and analyzed by the tools. Packets traveling across those links are sent not only to the other end of the link, but also through the tap or span to the analysis tool. If a packet happens to travel across more than one monitored link on the journey to its destination, then each tap or span will forward the packet to the tool. This means the tool will receive multiple copies of the same packet. The most common source of duplicate packets is in how span or mirror ports are configured. As a simplified example, assume there is a three-tier application being accessed by a user. For monitoring purposes, you have spanned each of the three ports servers are attached to. When the user query reaches the web server on port 1, a copy of that packet is sent to the analyzer. The web server needs information from the application server to respond, so it sends a second tier query out of port 1, which is also sent to the analyzer. When the web server query enters port 2, a copy is sent to the analyzer. This is the first duplicate packet. The application server requires information from the database, so it sends a third tier query to the database server, and that is forwarded to the analyzer as it leaves port 2. When the application server query reaches port 3, a copy is sent to the analyzer, and this is the second duplicate packet. In total, out of five packets sent to the analyzer, 40% represents duplicate traffic. What are the problems that duplicate packets create for network instruments? When you're attempting to evaluate the performance of an application or network, the presence of duplicate packets can distort the results. Utilization inaccuracies can occur since byte and packet counts are elevated in proportion to the level of duplicate traffic that is present. This inaccuracy can easily be as high as double the actual rate. When the tool sees duplicate packets, it may incorrectly interpret them as TCP retransmissions. When troubleshooting, these false positive errors can cause you to look in the wrong places. The tremendous volume of traffic being presented to the tool is challenging enough. Anything that can be done to lighten the processing load on the analysis tools will improve their efficiency and reliability. Forensic recorders have large amounts of storage space, but this space is finite. Typically, these devices use a circular storage approach, which means when the disk space is full, the oldest data is overwritten. Recording duplicate traffic can significantly reduce the retention period for traffic, which increases the possibility that the specific packet you're looking for might not be available. But can't analyzers detect and discard the duplicate packets? A single 1 gigabit link operating at line rate can sustain approximately 1.4 million minimized size packets per second. Comparing each new packet to a database of that size and completely replacing the database every second constitutes a formidable extra task for an analyzer. As a result, deduplication creates a huge processing burden for the analyzer and detracts measurably from analysis it is supposed to be performing. Performing this deduplication task can use up as much as 50% of the processing power of the monitoring tool. So what's the solution to the problems caused by duplicate packets? The Gigamon Gigasmart deduplication application is the answer. Today's network is forwarding traffic at much higher rates than most analyzers can easily handle, especially when multiple links are aggregated. Tuning the traffic stream so that only the correct traffic is analyzed helps your monitoring systems keep up with the increased traffic. The GigaSmart deduplication application takes into consideration those fields which are expected to change as a packet moves through a network, such as the source and destination MAC addresses. 
The GigaSmart deduplication application can tally or remove any duplicate IP packets detected within a configurable interval of up to 500,000 microseconds, which is equal to 500 milliseconds. The GigaSmart deduplication application even permits selection of additional Layer 3 and Layer 4 fields to be included with or excluded from the duplicate detection process. This gives you even more granularity and control over duplicate detection, further improving analysis results. Some common scenarios where you would implement deduplication include application performance monitoring and when using network or forensic recorders. A variety of network monitoring and analysis tools, particularly application performance monitoring products, perform poorly when there are duplicate packets present, causing them to report inaccurate test results. It is often worthwhile to have a visibility fabric deduplicate traffic prior to reaching tools such as APM analyzers simply because of the negative effects of the analyzer tool performing the deduplication itself. Also, for compliance and security purposes, you will want network and forensic recorders to retain network traffic as long as possible. When duplicate traffic is being stored, it can sharply reduce the retention period by filling up the recorder with unnecessary traffic. Additional details can be found in the GigaSmart Overview Training Module, the CLI and HView Training Modules, User Guides, and Product Data Sheets. In this module, you have explored the GigaSmart deduplication application. You are now able to Describe how duplicate packets happen and the issues in the network related to these packets. Identify the consequences caused by duplicate packets. Describe how the GigaSmart deduplication application alleviates the problem. Identify the use cases for the GigaSmart deduplication application. This concludes the GigaSmart training module for packet deduplication. Thank you.